And now, boys and girls, let me hear you. It's the moment you've all been waiting for with a brand new episode. It's the Spy! <laughs> A good spy always has to keep his eyes and ears open because the Yetsahara is always trying new tricks to keep us from doing mitzvahs. Monday morning, 7.45 a.m. Philo and I were in shul davening chakras, listening to the chazan's beautiful voice. Al tira mi pachat pihisayim. Umeshayas rishayim kisavoy. Oh, so well, so well, so well. so so I went over to the poor Khajan, who seemed to have a problem with his voice. Oy vey, what wrong, Rebbe? Why does your voice sound so funny? Why are you holding your throat like that? What's wrong? I, I don't know, Rabbi. <laughs> I really voice. Uh, it sounds funny. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbi turned to me. Spy, please finish the davening. Something's terribly wrong with the chazen. I'll bet he caught a cold, Nebuch. Rafua Shalema. After davening, I went over to Reb Moshe. Reb Moshe, are you okay? Oh, spy, my voice is. I, I can't, I can't da- daven anymore. And I... Oh, well, Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem. My voice is back to normal. I don't understand what happened. I also don't understand, Reb Moshe. It almost sounded like you have a frog in your throat. A frog? Can't be, Spy. Frogs aren't kosher. Right. Well, how about a sheep? (laughs) No, Spy. It's not a sheep. No? How about a cow? No, Spy, it didn't sound like a cow. How about a giraffe? Spy, it was none of those things. My throat just went dry and... Suddenly, Fival said, Spy, it really does sound like a frog. So, you really think it's a frog, Fival? If, in fact, it is a frog, and we know that Frogs aren't kosher, and do you think, Fival, it could be? I know, Spy. It's gotta be. Uh, 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 it only could be. The uh, yeah, Yates of Horror! horror. Deduction, Spy! My new dense wave division multiplexing laser beam will mess up the Hazen's voice every time! <laughs> and then no one will be able to daven with the right Kavana in Shul anymore! <laughs> I got the Spy real good this time! He'll never get out of this! <laughs> hmm, I hummed. If it is the Yetzirah, then how could he mix up the Hazen's voice like that? Spy! 
Maybe we can find the answer in our secret laboratory. Maybe Nechama, our chief scientist, can analyze what's going on. Good idea, Fival. Let's go. <laughs> around and listen about a man we call the Spy. Because of his adventures, he's a legend in his time. He'll fight the Yates Sahara at sea or in the sky. And you'll never have to worry when the Spy is on your side. Nothing is too difficult, nothing is too hard. Nothing is too dangerous, no place is too far. He'll never be too busy, he'll always make you fine. You'll never have to worry when the spy's on your side. We jumped into the spy mobile and drove to our secret agent laboratory. Inside, the Hummer was doing another experiment to try to keep kosher milk from getting spoiled. Spy! Fival, what are you doing here? Is something wrong? Nechama, we had a problem in Shul this morning. The Khazan's voice. The Khazan lost his voice. It sounded like... It sounded like a frog. So you figured that because it was a frog, and frogs are not kosher, that it had to be the Yetzirah. Right, Nechama. How did you know? 